This is the 11th ever episode of the BitPad recorded on the 12th of November 2017. Our official sponsor of the BitPad for the month of November is Blake Badcock. Hello there. It's very hot in here. Thanks to our new Patreon, Andrew. Uh, last week's guest. Oh, excellent. Um, he didn't need to do that, but we he appreciate not. it. Um, he, he obviously got it to no doubt see the extended version yes. of his episode, the deluxe. Um, all all the of the juicy bits all the juicy in the deluxe bits. of his episode. All our Patreon supporters uh, get a massive deluxe version of the show on patreon.com slash the bitpad. And they get it a few days early as well. I don't know what we're going to talk about in our breaks this week. Stuff and things. Might not be worth your money this week. Who knows? Absolutely be worth your money. <laughs> Actually, I know what we can talk about because we're all playing. We don't know what we're talking about, so that's how good it's going to be. It's going to be so good. I apologise to me in the future. Who has to hear that through his headphones? Good! Good. Let's do, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do a show. Hello there. On this week's show... Now the clown's throwing me in the middle. You know yeah, who it but, is? Uh, I am a fish Pokemon. <laughs> Magikarp. <laughs> Here's this. Try not to vomit all over yourself. Let's play. It's the BitPad and welcome to it. I'm Maz and you've really got to catch them all if you want to be the very best there ever was. This week I've thrown out my master ball prematurely and caught myself a poke man. Not even in his final form yet. It's Brucey! Hello! How are you doing? I'm good. Uh, what would your wild Brucey sound be? I know there was a pterodactyl noise I used to make when we were drunk. Oh yeah? How did that go? I think it went... Ah! Not at all what I was expecting. So this is great. <laughs> and, and our guest this week, back to defend her previous win on the last Pokemon special, probably a fire type by the looks of her hair, it's Sarah. Hi. Hi. How would you sound in the Poke Wilds? Probably something really high pitched and annoying. Uh -huh. I'm not going to do it because nobody wants to hear that. I do. No. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. All you hear is, I'm good. You say, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm Just rough swing around good. the bushes. I'm good. <laughs> Throw a Pokeball out. I'm good! <laughs> well, you've just given me the sound files for your buzzers. Let's test them. No! <laughs> Sarah? I'm good. <laughs> Perfect. Brucey. <laughs> it's time for the Super Battle News. All right. It's a game show. I, re I forget. It's a game. It's a game, that's right. It's a game show. The team over at Build-A-Bear Workshop, where you can create yourself a custom teddy bear, have revealed... <laughs> Brucey. A Bulbasaur. The Bulbasaur! Really? Mm. It's so cute. He's 55 bucks and he comes with a cute hat and a scarf, six Bulbasaur sounds and, a, and an exclusive Pokemon trading card. How cute is that? Cute. Those cute. things are super expensive though. But That's yeah. so cute. Yeah. I want one. <laughs> <laughs> All of them. Money is an, ob an object. <laughs> <laughs> it's an object that I'm willing to spend. <laughs> Every week the Japanese publication Famitsu asks people to vote on their most wanted Nintendo games. This week, which game takes the top spot? <laughs> is, it? is it Pokemon? It is Pokemon uh -huh. Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Yes! It is a Pokemon special. <laughs> so... I, I was, I'm sitting there going, what, what? This is a Pokemon special. It's got to be Pokemon. It is. Yeah. Just beating out Xenoblade 2 on the Switch. Does anybody actually want it? <laughs> no, I don't want Xenoblade 2. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, how about Ultra Sun and Moon? Uh, no, nah. I, I, nah. I'm, I didn't even get all the way through Sun and Moon. Mm. I think but... it's going to be a dramatically different story with the Switch Pokemon. I think mm -hmm. everyone's going to have time for it. I will have time for it if it includes Pokemon Snap somehow. <laughs> <laughs> You've been told. You've been told. And also on Ultra Sun and Moon, they revealed a new Z move for which spooky Pokemon? I'm good. Sarah. I don't know any of them. Ghastly, he's not in it. No. <laughs> Brucey for the steal. I, I don't remember its name, but it's like that bag that looks like a rubbish bag. 
the Pikachu -y a little face. weird thing. Yeah, it's yeah. Mimikyu. That's Mimikyu, right. that's right. In the move, this lonely Pokemon covers the enemy Pokemon entirely in its sack and beats it to death from the inside in a Z move called "Let's Snuggle Forever." <laughs> <laughs> You've gone down a dark hole. <laughs> it's a, it's a dark, it's it's a dark, dark, hole. dark hole, Japan. Mimikyu is out of control, and that'll do, <laughs> because it's too spooky. Let's play Hidden Roster Spotter. What's that? What's what? What, you, what the fuck did you just do with your faces? I put something in my sack and punched it. Oh, okay. Yeah, you see it's underneath it. Like, it goes above the Pokemon and you get an underview and you see these red eyes go <laughs> from inside the sack. And it's like, what the fuck? That, that's, yeah. that's out of control. It's out of control. Everybody thinks it's so cute though. Yeah, nah. Yeah, nah. It's all lies. <laughs> first to buzz in gets first crack at filling in the character select screen. This week, perhaps the easiest one of these we've ever done, Brucey. It's Pokemon Red and Blue! Ah! Brucey wants to go first. Just one? Yeah. Ah, uh, Squirtle. Squirtle! You can add that one. Sarah. Charmander. Charmander is correct. And the old Bulbasaur. And Bulbasaur. And there we go. We've is that it? That's it. That's not fair. That is the easiest one ever. We're going to do an ad break really early. No, we're not actually. Guess what, guys? Yes. Over to you, Sarah, for the gold and oh, silver shit. versions. Oh. Cyndaquil. Cyndaquil is one. That's the fire starter. Pretty cute little kidna dude. Is it, um, like, uh, is it chicory? Chikorita! Yeah, the grass one. The, uh, what is it, like an avocado? What is that? Yeah. That's not an avocado. What? <laughs> you see an avocado? <laughs> what is it? It's like an avocado. It looks Pokemon. like a caterpillar. No, it doesn't. It looks like a fruit. Anyway. Sarah, what you, Sarah? The water to type. Totodile. Totodile is correct. Yeah, it's an avocado, I'm telling you. Kiwi fruit, maybe? Yeah, okay, I'll give you kiwi. Alright, sick. What about Ruby and Sapphire Brucey? Oh, yeah. oh god, I don't Sarah. remember these far back. Sarah's <laughs> favourite. Go, go. No, no, still? no. It's back and forward, isn't it? Alright, Sarah. Mudkip. Mudkip, pickled back. Sasquatch. Sasquatch. Oh, Torchic. Torchic is correct. And the final one, Sarah. Trico. 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 Uh, what's your favourite? This is your favourite gen. What's your favourite starter? Mudkip. Yeah, Mudkip is the way. So far. Forget it, he's gone. Water type each time mm -hmm. has been my favourite. Same to you, Brucey? Yeah, I think so. Well, over to you, Bruce, for the diamond and pearl. Um, What's the water type here? Oh my god. It's the little penguin. Yeah. Um, uh, I can't remember his name, though. I think I know it's... it. Sarah, you got it? Is it Pinup? Pinup. Something like that. It's It starts with a P and ends with an up. It's Pip Plop. I don't know who to give the point to, so I'll give myself that. Oh, points for Maz. Host points. Host points. Sarah, you got the grass or the fire? No. No? The fire was a monkey? Yes. I don't remember his name, though. It's Chimcha. And grass type. Uh, Bulbasaur knockoff, Turtwig! Ah! Why? Yeah. Piplup again, you would stand think, out for me. Yeah. You would think the, um, the, the turtle knockoff would be the water type from Pokemon. Mm. You would have saved that for another gen. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, exactly. Uh, next, black and white. Whoever wants to go first. Oh my god. If you know uh, one. Uh, the Torpig? Tepig? Tepig? Just the Torpig? fire one, I'll give you that. Tepig? Close enough. Otter one's like a pup something. Yeah, I'll give you a hint, it's kind of like an otter. Yeah, I can I can picture him. Right, that's Oshawott. Oshawott. With uh, his little shell butt. And in the middle is the grass type. Snivy. Yeah. They're pretty cute. <clears throat> they're getting they're they're getting off the beaten track. I think Oshawott's still good. Mm -hmm. Tepig's still pretty cool. Uh, Snivy's off. I mean, that's just shit. I think, I think, just shit. I think they just start go down him from here. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. like reach, grasping at straws now. X and Y. Who can remember this far back? Oh. It wasn't that long ago. I don't think I want to remember this far back, to be honest. Um, oh, uh, blah, 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 blah. Froakie? Froakie, <laughs> correct. Fennekin. Fennekin Fox. Uh, Chespin? Chespin! Ooh. Favorites start to go a little off for me here. I'm not water type anymore. I'm doing the Chespins. Sarah, you moved over to Fennekin, didn't you? 
and you were still I still stayed with Froki. Getting your uh, Greninja. That's right. Yeah, eventually. he's pretty cool. And finally, Sun and Moon. Oh, fresh in your mind, guys. No, nah, not no. fresh in my mind at all. Um, uh, Rowlet. Rowlet. That's the owl. That's probably my favourite of this one. Because um, his head went all the way around. Litten. 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 Smashing it, Brucey. And... And the worst Pokemon design I've ever seen. Um... Puplio. Oh, yeah, There's cool. the pup that I was getting there earlier. Was, you were getting it. Puplio. Uh, look how crap he is. Yeah, Litten. Yeah, he... They just... Yeah. He... And then he turns into a very gender-specific design. Which I'm not mm -hmm. a fan of. He becomes that woman clown thing, doesn't he? The woman clown seal. Yeah. So I don't know. I think I think your Pokemon design should be asexual, so that we can. How do you get a? a anyway, whatever. <laughs> Sarah, six yep. points. That's not good. It's not good. Brucey, eleven points. Yeah, that's probably as many as I'll get this game. Mm -hmm. See how we go. Sarah, you won the last time you were on the show. Yeah. Sixty points to fifty-one. Yeah. Not a great start. No, but I, the speed round is. The speed where round's where up. it all happens. It is where it all <laughs> happened. I've got to get my points ahead now. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. So that, and hope that I'm far enough ahead that there's not that many questions in the speed round. <laughs> <laughs> Back with more Poke Fun right after this. Oh my god, Kim, it's so hot. <laughs> it is. It's, this ad break, we will be in the lounge where the aircon <laughs> is. Uh, enjoy playing with yourselves. Goodbye. Why do you have to have so many lights in here? There's one. None of which are really doing heat. It's probably the computer pumping out the most heat. But anyway. The, the, the TV, it's actually probably Ooh. the TV. Mm. To be honest. Oh, uh -huh. TV. Um, so, I mean, we may as well just talk a little bit more about Odyssey. Mm -hmm. We finished it. Yep. You're still trucking through World 3, completionist style. <laughs> Kind of. The second oh. one was shit, so I was like, I'm getting out, I'm of, out here. of here. I'm out of the sand place. I'm just actually, I've finished and I'm going back through worlds. The sand place is where I've just started to be like, okay, I'm going back there. Yeah. I don't know what it is about not liking it. I think it's probably because we saw so much of it I think leading it's, up. I think it's, I think the sand world too is too open. Mm -hmm. It's quite open, yeah. Like, and it's hilly, so it's not even going to be like, oh, there's that thing I need to go to over that way. It, mm. It's, you know, it's open world, which is great, and lots of the worlds are great. Such a thing as too open. But the sand world <laughs> just doesn't have anything in it but fucking sand. I get that yeah. it's in a desert, <laughs> and, and it's doing exactly what it's supposed to do, but I don't know. I think, I, I don't know that it's the best choice of worlds. Like, even the ice world, at least, was kind of... Yeah, not this open It's nice plane. and contained. Yeah. It's, like, it's, I think it's that if it's going to be one element for the whole world, you, you've got to keep it tight, otherwise you get bored. But you get fatigue. Mm. Sand fatigue. Uh, what a great boss, though. Am I right? The, uh, the stone head with the punchy fist. Oh, yeah, yeah. exactly. You where bullet, you had to then... Bullet billet into its face. Uh, I've got to say, the level design in that, where you're... You're learning how to use bullet bills bigger and bigger until you get to the end boss, and then you have to bullet bill the fist, fist into like... his face. Nice. Yeah. So mm. such a lovely curve there. I, I do like what they did with the bosses in the fact that a lot of the bosses you fight, you have to turn into something from that mm -hmm. world. Yeah. Like um, I wasn't overly fond of um, the New Donk City. Uh, what was have that? you been to New Donk City? Not yet. So I wasn't overly fond of that one. What was that? Um, I forget if you haven't got there and you don't want to hear but it was that big we've seen it it's that big caterpillar oh yeah a lot of motion controls come yeah. into play there and, uh, and you had to you had to basically get in a tank and mate, be, be a tank to kill it you finish the game and you go back uh, and you have to fight all the bosses again but they're harder in the pictures yeah yeah. In the, in the mushroom kingdom two caterpillars great 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 yeah that's what you want <laughs> great. two caterpillars one tank <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. He's looks cool though, but yeah, the battle was a little bit. Mm. Uh, yeah. What's been your favourite thing so far? You're not that far in, completing it all, so you're enjoying it. That's fun. I'm not very good at it. I've never been very good at these kinds no. of games. No, that's what's been interesting. I've been watching um, my partner play, and they've never played a 3D Mario ever. So little mm. things like that, you'd be like, this. Oh yeah. So. One of our complaints and Bam's complaints is that it was quite easy. But mm. I'm watching him play it and it's like, 
It's not. It's not. No. It's not easy at all. And that's where the post-game stuff has been really challenging for me. I'm like, yeah, good. But if it was... If it was, there was that kind of challenge early on for someone who's never played a Mario game before, they would rage quit it. Like that. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm, I'm actually seeing it from fresh eyes going, that was difficult. Why? Oh, that's right, because they haven't got 20 years of 3D Mario experience. Yeah. Exactly. Mine. And I thought the same thing until I watched my five-year-old pick it up and play. <laughs> and um, he would go along and he'd be okay and he'd get to a point he's like, Dad, I can't do this. Can mm. you just do this bit for me? Mm. Like, it's like, oh, okay, cool. It is still it, yeah. in, in perspective. We're um, just pros, seasoned pros. I wouldn't go that far. I mean, I can't, <laughs> oh, throw, this... or throw, can't throw Cappy and jump on Cappy to boost me up too oh, well. Mate, not I, great at that. I've only just learned how to, like, leap jump, throw Cappy, jump at Cappy, throw Cappy again. That's like, what I was trying to say about yeah. the car. Yeah. Like, that's not real. I, I can't do that. That's, no. that's... And, oh, pro tip. Making Cappy spin, everybody seems to have trouble making him spin around. In circles? Yeah. No? Yeah. See, well, I just, you don't put, I was making the mistake of throwing him and then doing that. No, you just do it. You just do that. Yeah. And it just goes, mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Luke grabbed Cappy, got the thing. It's like, how do I do that? Okay. I went, fuck you. Yeah, I did the same. You were I, like, I don't need to learn. I, I know what I'm doing. I, I, I'm I'm like, through. do it again. And he couldn't. Because he yeah. was trying to throw Cappy first. Yeah. And then we figured it out together. Yeah, uh, no, see, I actually read the instructions yeah. when they come up on the screen. <laughs> see, I read them. But I just assumed you also have yeah. to throw them. And that's exactly I, what he said. He's like, you just got to read. <laughs> 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 yeah. I don't know. I, I'm really, I was hesitant to start with. I thought the whole Cappy idea was a bit, mm. you know, Mario always has his thing. And I thought maybe Cappy was going too far, like being able to turn into everything. Mm. But it's just um, given as but great... I, I, I don't think it has. I think it's added tremendous amount of value to the game. I thought I would miss your conventional Mario power-ups, like the Fire Flower and the, the suit Wing Cap and, and stuff. Yeah. But now it's been replaced with this other way of powering yourself up, which gives you way more freedom yeah. for game design as well. So, yeah, it's cool. It is cool. Um, I've got my Zelda Amiibos. Oh, um, yeah. They're very cool. You can't see them on screen. They but, look uh, very cool. Daruk, Daruk is a chody beast. And I he is. He's a fucking great amiibo. But you, but you still didn't have trouble putting that in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you know it. Um, so um, I'm looking forward to... Getting back on some... Zelda coming back into, into my life. Um, I hope it's got another month. I hope they don't release it till about Christmas when I'm probably about done with Mario. Yes. Um, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Christmas. Someone's excited about the uh, Christmas special. Um, yeah. Rocket League comes out in a couple of days. I'm looking forward to that. That's cool. Yeah. I think that'll be entertaining, especially given it's cross platform. Yeah, I think that'll be good. Oh, it's cross platform yeah. as well. Oh, that's cool. I want to know if it's like, can I play with you without having to buy it myself? That'd be cool if you could. Oh. Yeah. oh. I suspect maybe locally we could do that. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be down with that. I would hope. Um, a bit of local. But yeah, I might might check that out and see how much more terrible I am with motion controllers playing Rocket League <laughs> than I am with a pro controller. Fuck. Um, <laughs> is it a download only situation? Uh, I haven't been into a store to see it in a store, so I'm going to assume yes. Mm. Then I walked into a only? store and found uh, Monopoly. Um, and nobody wants. Nelly, Nelly picked that up, and when lucky I didn't, because it takes like ten minutes to load. They are working on patching that shit. How was the one on PS4? Because it's the same one. It's a port. Rocket League. Cool. But no, like Monopoly. loading. Oh, Monopoly. It was loading a big old shit. You didn't play with other people. You just played with a computer. Yeah, so it'd be a different game. It looks the same. I thought you can play that with real people though, not you online. Can I never have? Oh but yeah, like with... people, people. Yeah. 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 Whatever. I, mean, like uh, I, I don't know. I I looked at it. I thought about it, and then I went. But how does how do you how do you release your game with a shit ass load time? Load time. Mm. How does it, it not get? How does know, Nintendo not go? It's the same. What, what are you doing? It's the same people who are just pumping out the third parties. bass fishing Monopoly, and yeah, like mm. they don't care. Just put it on the shelves. Someone will buy it. They're not actually going to play it. It's an awful game. I wouldn't mind some bass fishing on the Switch. <laughs> now that you mentioned that, actually. <laughs> We know that video game fishing is the worst, no matter what. Yeah. I, I want it. You want it. Why I love that? video game fishing. 
Because fishing's boring in real life. Me and, why would, why me, so me and Gurks are keen on, on all forms of fishing simulators. <sighs> Farming simulators coming out on Switch. Get the fuck out. No. Get out. It looks. No, no, I'm serious. Get out. Looks like farming. <laughs> I don't, I'm not saying get out that it's coming. I'm saying get out because it's terrible and you should Good. get out for mentioning right. in it. <laughs> don't know why anyone would, would want to harvest crops in a video game. I and you know. go and buy your tractor at tractor shows. And then you're like, oh my God. You were obsessed with farm built. Oh. How can you be like, I don't want a farm? Yeah. You! I just wanted to see what wow. you guys thought before I said I wanted it. I, I think, I, I think, I believe we covered this in an episode of the Bitpad uh, with Brent one day mm. when we were talking about farming simulators and how they, it, it shouldn't be a thing. Farming simulator 2017. Yeah. It's back. But I guess the Sims exist, so why wouldn't farming mm-hmm. simulators Simulate exist everything. for people in the country? They should make a, make a TV show simulator. That'd be great. You'd love it. Oh. Until it's more successful than you. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't take much. Well, let's get back to the show. Rocket Man! <laughs> it's the bit pad, and welcome back to it. There is a great game we play every time we talk about Pokemon, and we're about to play it now. It's called Gotta Catchphrase Them All! Yes! <laughs> yeah! Guess the Pokemon from the picture clues on the screen. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Sarah. Machoke. MA15. MA15. So, restriction thing for Australia. Yeah. And he's being choked. And he's been choked. Have a point. Mah. There it is. Have a point. That's the game, guys. <laughs> I'm good. Miltank! It is Miltank! <laughs> That's a mill. Ah. And a, and a, and a Tank. Heavy, heavy utility vehicle. A lot of wind truck went through my head there. Wind truck? <laughs> uh, wind truck. Sound it out. This is a tough one, but quite easy. I'm going far away. Far away. And dogs playing fetch. Wow, I was making on sunset fetch. and stuff. I was well out of the park. Yeah. Good luck on this one, Brucey. You need the points. She's catching you. <laughs> Brucey. Spearo. Spear. Perfect. Nailed it. Here it is. Oh, Brucey's in. That's a quick. What a quick refit. You're gonna, you're gonna guess it. I was gonna go uh, lick a tongue, um, mostly because we've got mm-hmm. a dog licking a window. Yep. But um, now the clown's thrown me in the middle. Well, you are correct. It is lick a tongue. Um, it's licking a, and a that's, tongue at the end. It's so. a clown from It. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. And well, a tongue. I don't lick watch a tongue. Horror movies, but you know yeah, who but, It is. Uh, I know who he is. It's a clown. Um, <laughs> obviously. Now, now. now. <laughs> <laughs> Next. Oh, Hubba Bubba. Who remembers that? Ah! Brucey does. Uh, Hubba Bubba is obviously gum. Yes. Uh, and, and they're a pair of shoes, so gum shoe. Gum shoes. The Donald Trump <laughs> of the Pokemon world. <laughs> it is, it's when Pokemon went downhill. Um, interesting. So we got. Ah! Brucey's gonna have a crack. A sign cannon? Sign cannon, no. Sarah for the steel, the second part of that is correct. Uh, how is many? It two th- cannon? It is two oh. cannon! That's oh. an ice block. Two can. Oh my god. Two cannon! Oh, he's a beast. Okay. I love him. He's pretty cute. His, uh, when he fires something through his beak, his beak changes. He's, named, he's named poorly. Mm. It's not. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and here's a little bit difficult. Ah! Brucey, what you got? So we've got a grave. Grave. Some blonde chick. Yep. And an emergency. Um, Based on that, I don't think you're going to get it. I'm not going to get it. Uh, well, the thing that popped guess. in my head was Grimer, but uh, I don't think that's right. Sarah, for the steel. Grave. Oh! Ooh. Ooh. Who is that? Is yeah, it... who is that? That would that's, help us. That's Elle McPherson. <laughs> I'm good. Graveler. Graveler. Yeah. Graveler? Yeah. I mean, this is a stretch. No, right? Really? Grave L L E R E R Grave L E R. Wow, I feel ripped off for that. Yeah. <laughs> Here's one. <laughs> Brucey. Okay, so we've got a guy that's asleep. Yes. Mm-hmm. I feel he's snoring. He is snoring. Those on the other side look like lax tips. Yeah. Snorlax. Ah. That is correct. <laughs> 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 nice they look work. like worming tablets that you give to That's dogs. what I thought. And oh, then I thought like, it's mint mm. chocolate, and then I went, Snormint? 
Still me. <laughs> Still lax. Still lax. It is. Still lax. It is. And here's your final one. Buzzing and sounded out, Sarah. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. What you got there? What's that first one? I forget what they're called. Vape. Vape. Vaporeon. Vape or Ian or... McKellen. <laughs> Vaporeon. Yes. I didn't know who that old guy was at the end. <laughs> I didn't know who that old guy was at the end. <laughs> I just knew vape. Fuck kids these days, am I right? Another stretch. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. That's a good one. That was a good one. And that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry? You're not really. <laughs> I'm sorry that there's not 48,000 more of those. I'm like, maybe for the Christmas special. <sighs> there are a billion Pokemon. That's a lie. That is a lot. If I described them to you, would you be able to pick them out of the cast of thousands? Maybe. 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 It's time to play Who Am Me? I'll read out the clues from the Pokedex entries. Buzz in to let me know who it is. More points, the sooner you get to the answer. Are you ready? Yep. Sure. I am a fish Pokemon. <laughs> Magikarp. Is that true? Is it really? <laughs> <It's> <laughs> nice work, five points. <laughs> do you want to know the rest of the clues? Absolutely, because yeah. that was supremely... We do have a show to fill. So... My swimming muscles are weak, so I'm easily washed away by currents. I'm a pathetic excuse for a Pokemon that is only capable of flopping and splashing. There, Actually, in the Pokedex, I didn't write that. There, there's the clue to give it away. I evolve really. into Gyarados. I am Magikarp. Well done, Bruce. Thank you. There are so many fish Pokemon, I was just hoping yeah. it was <laughs> Who am me? I can fly faster than a jet plane. Don't do it. <laughs> Alright, I won't. <laughs> I understand human speech. I have the ability to make others see an image of what I have seen before or what I imagine. I am Gen 3 Legendary. I'm not Latias. I'm good. Sarah. Latias. <laughs> yes. I'm going to give you that point. Did you know that? <laughs> <laughs> Who am me? I usually live inside thunderclouds. While flying, I make a crackling and snapping sound. <laughs> Bruce is Zapdos. It is Zapdos. Four points. Nice work. I can create savage storms by flapping my glittery wings. I'm a legendary bird. I am not Moltres or Articuno. <laughs> I like how your last one point Q is, I am not these other ones. <laughs> <laughs> I am an electric type. Blowtorb. <laughs> No. <laughs> I'm going to lock you out for two clues. Yes. Despite my small size, I can zap even adult humans. But if I do, I also surprise myself. Pikachu. No. No. Oh, she's out. You're, yeah. There we go. Everyone's back in. The electric pouches on my cheeks are still small and cannot store much electricity yet. <laughs> I'm good. Sarah. Pichu. It is Pichu. Oh. How many do you get there? Three points. I'm the pre-evolved state of the game's main mascot. I am Pichu. <laughs> was the final clue. <laughs> <laughs> Lazy writing, everyone. I am a very lonely Pokemon. I'm a ghost and fairy type. My actual appearance is unknown. I'm good. Let me finish this clue for you. A scholar who saw my true form was overwhelmed by terror and died from shock. Mimikyu. It is Mimikyu. Three points. Oh. I conceal my terrifying appearance beneath an old rag so I can get closer to people than other Pokemon. I put people in my sack when I'm... Yeah. That's nice, Bruce, but we'll what's, play a game. What's your... <laughs> <laughs> there it is. That won't make the cut. Of course it will. You, you forget, but anyway. So, let's snuggle forever the, the darkest move in history. Yeah. yeah. And the, first per the only person who's seen it, what it looks like under the rag died. Because it's horrifying. Good times. Well, it's kind of sad. Good times. I wonder if he got out of the sack and died, or there's, whether he died in the sack. There's another thing. Mm -hmm. When it gets discovered, its neck breaks. Like it's, it breaks its neck, and one of the, the clues is it might it, its neck might break, but it is unharmed underneath. <laughs> it's like well, I don't know where Do we that's, know. I don't know. Do that's, we know? that's true. Yeah, so that's fun. Good times. 
See you in the bat. Oh. The mad scientist is at it again oh, with back. all his dirty gene splicing. This time with poor unassuming Pokemon. Let's play Dr. Mario Stein! Five Pokemon have been gene spliced together and they're horrifying. Brucey, here is your abortion. Wow. That is... Looks like we got a Pikachu in there. Pikachu, one point. Um, that curly twirl, uh, I feel that's, that's a Jigglypuff. It is not. No? Sarah, you can hold on to that for the steel. Maybe a Clefairy then. It is a Clefairy. Yeah. Yes. It might. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I was going to say. It's also the ears of the Clefairy. Yeah, that's right, the ears of the Clefairy. Um, oh, what else have we got in there? That big nose looks familiar. Um, but I... Those eyes are everywhere, so that might be difficult. Mm -hmm. But there is a little clue there in the shine above the eye that might... Those eyes are either a Voltorb or an Electrode. It's a Voltorb, well yeah. done. Oh. Um, the mouth... <laughs> is that a... <laughs> I don't know what that mouth is. Even hints? Is that what that is? Maybe. I'm it, not sure. It could be. He doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's the um, sound I imagine that mouth makes. Is the mouth? Is the mouth not growler? No. Nah, not on the nose. Over to Sarah. Nose and mouth. That's all that's left. Mr. Mime. No. Nose. No. That's Diglett's nose, oh, by the way. Yeah. Uh, okay. The mouth is slow, bro. It is slow, bro. Ah, okay, yep. Sarah? Mm-hmm? Here's this. Try not to vomit all over yourself. Wow! Oh my god, there's so many things. Well, let's start at the... Somewhere. Just pick something Just anywhere. Okay, the cannons are Blastoise. Blastoise. Mm -hmm. The ears are the electric Eevee. The electric Eevee. Yeah. Go on, come on. I'll come back to it. Zapdos. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's got Meowth's gold yeah. piece. Yeah, Meowth's gold piece. Oh my god, their names of what has like fallen out of my head. It's Gen 1. I know. It's been so long though. It's been so long. What is that pink thing? I don't know what that is. It matches the eyes. Yeah, that's... You don't oh, know that wait, is? no, that's Caterpie. That is Caterpie. Two to go. The mouth is that dragon thing. Dragonite. No. no. No? That's over to Brucey, Brucey. That looks like a Charmander mouth. It's Charmander's wow. mouth. And finally, name that dog it or it's Bruce's point. <sighs> Why can't I remember it? There's, there was only three then. And I, now, know. I know there's nine Eevee types now, but... But it was like my least favourite one. Yeah. Well, it ends in Eon. We know I that. know that much. <laughs> Jolteon. Jolteon. <laughs> nice work. There they all are. Good heavens. Yeah, it doesn't look so bad once you know what's where but, it's all come uh, from, does that'd, it? That would probably fit in okay in the next gen. Yeah. <laughs> that will be the next gen. Splice. Here's all the abortions you guys bred in the breeding centre. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So many raped dittos. Am I right? Try not to put that on the TV version of me. That will be great. Try. Try as hard as you can. They're points. Multiplying. Math. All of the things I hate. Doesn't happen at this point in the show no, ever. It doesn't. So I'll go back to them <laughs> after the break. I don't want to talk about anything. You don't want to talk okay. about anything? No. What do you mean? Oh, well, well, you guys can. What are you talking about? I'm We're going to sit I'm, and I'm going to change the card, so we'll just talk for 216 seconds. How's that sound? Okay. Hi, internets. Are you Hello. Gonna it? Not really enthusiastic about giving you extra content today, so who cares? Too hot. You know what you didn't do is the giveaway. We're gonna do that in the first Let's break. do that now! Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna what? F what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your best. I'll get these Z crystals. That's gonna be really hard to get. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> so how do we do this? We've never done one of these before. Hello Facebook! We are from the BitPad and we've got some sweet, sweet giveaways. Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon are released this week and we want to give away a Z ring. What is it, Sarah? What have you got there? Something. Yeah. It plays with the game. It's the Pokemon Z ring. 
That's right. Integrates with your with your game. Lights up, <laughs> vibrates. Various crystals for your different mega, your different Ooh. Z powers. It is actually vibrating a lot. And look, oh my god, that's pretty cool. So, so we've, we've got the Z ring, and we've got a set of all the crystals. All the crystals. You could ever need to all of them. get your Z all moves of the on crystals. with your favourite Pokemon. All you got to do yeah. is yeah. share this video, uh, like it, and tag a friend who's a Pokemon fan. Who's got to catch them all? Will you be checking if they're a real Pokemon fan? The friend? Yes. The friend will fail you. No, I won't. <laughs> will, will your friend fail you? Select your random. You will you never can win know. yourself a goddamn Pokemon Z ring. For now. Enjoy this! And then I'll put one of the games on. <laughs> is there any the old is there any limitation on entry? Do nah. you have to be in the country? No. Nah. Right. So maybe I'll just go. It could cost you eight thousand dollars in postage. I'll only I'm gonna pick the winner. And yeah, you put it in a <laughs> generating. Do you live between my house and Maz's house? <laughs> you win. There's like programs that you can like be like generate a random name out of this. Yeah. Post. yeah. Like this post, share it on your business, and tag a friend who's got to catch them all. And you could win yourself a Pokemon Z ring. Be the coolest kid in your street. <laughs> Just in time for Christmas. Yeah. Stop <laughs> doing that! <laughs> <laughs>
Ugh. Coins. Both coins. Ah! Oh. Tighten that gap again. Yeah. Both flying out that thing at the exact same time. It's pretty hectic right now. Nobody cares about avocado. Avocado beans. Stop getting the double items. Yeah, you the could, doobly. You start getting the doobly's. <laughs> He's oh. doing it right before me every time. Oh shit! Oh no! No, no, no! no. That fence gets you every time as well. That's right, I did the same thing. Tightness. You both it. like the blue. I love a good tight path. fence. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, get oh, out of the edge! Of oh, no! Sarah's fallen off the map. Oh, Bruce oh, in the no. banana plant. She got put on Toad out of nowhere. Just <laughs> Toad's like, yeah, this is my boy. Bruce is back in first. Sarah. And no! Oh, so no! Gonna take third. The exact opposite of what happened last time they were together on the I'll show. I'll take it. How you feeling? The blood's pumping. The blood is pumping. <laughs> that was tight. Points at the end of that. The world, 138. Brucey, 149. Yeah. How does that happen? It's the last dash for points now in our speed run. <laughs> time is on the clock and it starts... Now, what Pokemon is called the Megaton Pokemon, ah! Bruce? Golem. It is Golem. What was Ash's mum's name? Ah! Brucey. Delilah? Delia? Yeah, close. Not close enough. No. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Was she banging Professor Oak? Ah! Yes, 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 she absolutely was. We assume. Pikachu is number 25 in the Pokedex, but which Pokemon at number 52 was cast to be his opposite in the cartoon? I'm good. Sarah. Eevee? No, Bruce. No. It's Meowth. That's right. That's why Meowth is with Team Rocket. Correct. What real life animal is Drowsy based on? <laughs> Tapir. It's a taper, which was traditionally said to eat dreams and nightmares mm. in actual real life. So, those animals now. First Pokemon ever conceived by the creators was... <laughs> Bruce. A Rhydon? It was a Rhydon. I swear you've got access to these... No. Questions. It's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. Before Pikachu was introduced in the TV series as an adorable face of the series, which Pokemon was slated to be the main mascot? That one I don't know. <laughs> I'm good. Sarah. Charmander? It was not Charmander, it was Clefairy. And before the release of Pokemon, coughing and wheezing almost had different names that were changed to not upset US viewers. What were they? <laughs> Bruce. I don't know. Toxic and sludge? I don't know. NY and LA in reference to the air pollution in New York and London. Oh, Angeles. wow! And that's time! Wonderful! And the points at the end of that. Sarah, 24 points! Lucky number. It's your birthday! <laughs> <laughs> and Brucey, 31 yeah. points! Were you born on the 31st? Nah. Oh, yeah. Every day. <laughs> <laughs> but I wasn't going to be beaten twice. <laughs> well done, Brucey. Smashing the game and the Mario Kart. Now it's even. We'll it's see good. You. We'll see you at the Christmas special. <laughs> oh. Oh. Thank you so much, Sarah, for joining us once again. Thank you. We will see you on the Christmas special. The BitPad is everywhere. You can support the show on patreon.com slash the BitPad and get this show in its deluxe mm. form early. Good lord. And you know what they say. It's mighty hot in these rhinos. <laughs> Happy birthday! <laughs> you know who you are. See you on the internet. Bye bye. Can I get ice cream now? Yeah, we're going to get ice cream now. <laughs> <laughs> <Great>. <laughs>